All right, guys, here's our first snake of the night. Had a little bit of a cactus slash bite incident trying to get this guy out of this tree, but this is a huge red racer. I believe this is the same species that we found sleeping in the tree, the juvenile, but wow, that is an impressive snake. This guy was hauling off the road when we first spotted him. He went up in one of these thorny, hostile trees and I had to sacrifice a little bit of blood to get to him, but that is a beautiful snake. Absolutely stunning. All right, guys, here's one more look at this beautiful red racer before we let him go. Really nice pink coloration on this guy. I would guess this is probably actually an integrate between a coach whip and a red racer. Yeah. Because, I mean, it looks, it's definitely got the darker head there and some weird banding going on. Definitely different from what we see in West Texas to a degree. But I'm not sure this is a pure red racer. Anyways, we're going to let this guy go and keep herping. All right, buddy. Nope. There is a snake. It's smaller. Um, take this bag, please. Pull it up, pull it up quickly, quickly. And I move. The, I try to move the bag a little bit, and this little snake just takes off. And instantly, I recognise black mamba. But the bag's heavy. I can't get it out the way. And it's a little snake like that. If it gets behind things, I'm never going to find it again. I don't want to lose the snake. Quick. All right. That's fine. Okay. All right. Woo. Okay, I've got it. It is a mamba. Oh. One wrong move now, it'll fight me right in the face. Cindy, I've got it. Look. Here we go. No, it's not that one. What do you mean? It has to be, no, Cindy. It's a big one. But a big, big one. Not that one. This is this not the photo yeah. you sent us? No, no. How big is it, Cindy? It's like a huge one. Because this is black mamba. Yeah, it is a black mamba, but it's not, not that one. Does it look the same as this yes. one? Cindy! You're right, it's a big mamba. Okay, guys. Big mamba. Look at that. Isn't that? Ooh, Cindy! That's one, yes, that's one. Is this it? Yes. Finally, this is it. Ooh, thank God. How, ah, Cindy, are you so calm when you've got this in your bedroom? Look at that, guys. And this here is a big black mamba. I mean, massive. And this here, this is a massive black mamba, and he's grumpy. Can you think of anything worse than having this guy in your bedroom? No way, forget the small one. This is the problem, and this is probably mommy or daddy, unfortunately. And this is the issue we're having in rural Africa. The most dangerous snake in the world, and the problem you got here, I mean, there's little chickens, where are those chickens? They're running around. We saw a white cat inside one of those buildings. There's dogs in the background. And of course, there's people. Woo! 
And look behind you there, there's a whole bunch of dogs right there. And what's happened is the dogs have seen the mamba out and these dogs have come running. And you can see mamba, head raised now, checking out what's there, all of this. And you can see why he would go into the house. It's beautiful, it's warm in there. He's away from the dogs, but man alive. <sighs> Look at that, I've got the shakes. There we go. That's the adrenaline pumping, surging through my body. The infamous black mamba, the second longest venomous snake in the world and by far the most dangerous. Fifth, look at that. Oh no, don't come out. Wants to go back in your house, Cindy? Yeah. Loves your house. Fifth most dangerous snake in the world in terms of toxicity of venom. Fifth most toxic snake, the quickest snake, the second longest, a beautiful black mamba. He's calming down a little bit since we've got him outside. But isn't that a monster? Absolute monster of a snake. And snake, Cindy, it's not a snake you want to have in your house, no, eh? No, well, thank you for calling us, Cindy. If you see any others, you phone, eh? Yes, Even the babies, yes, Cindy, I'm worried that there's going to be more babies here. But we'll come out during quarantine, during lockdown, if there's any more snakes in this house. That's an essential service, in my opinion, getting rid of these big, I think, beautiful snakes. And the snake's not in here to try and bite Cindy or her family. It's actually in here just to find rats and mice and chickens and, and to find a nice warm place before winter comes. We're almost pushing into April now. Things are getting cooler. Isn't it amazing? You saw how mental that snake went. It lost its mind when we were inside the house. Really, I've never been so close, other than when I have been bitten by a black. I've never been so close to getting bitten before like I was there. That was close, the head bumped up against my leg.